So again, this is part two of a video I just made regarding banging noises directly against the wall behind my kitchen sink from the psycho scum Irizarry, the paid sponsored career harasser, psychopath, sex offender, and Greenville's admitted and reported surveillance expert who likes to access the permanently vacant premises of the bathroom located directly behind this wall and engage in the same exact pattern of stalking, harassment, and harm directly against this wall now, as she did during the 10 years she was officially housed in Unit 78 between 2013 and 20, excuse me, 2022. Uh, the water is extremely oily, as I just reported in a video I just made and I'm uploading right now. There's also been violent slamming and pounding directly below from Irizarry's BFF and counterpart, the violent psycho thug in 76 who has come up to my door on multiple occasions and violently confronted me at my door, often while physically assaulting me, either shoving me, throwing things at my head, or yanking the phone out of my hand when I try to call 911. He likes to tell me that he can see what I do in here and has accused me of ha having food in my teeth, a hairy face, and manly legs. These are things that he should have no knowledge of, unless there's surveillance devices in this unit, which obviously there are. Over the last few hours, Irizarry, the psycho scum, psychopath, and 76, has been making smacking noises against that sink when I've gone up to the sink to try to use it, and she has also resumed her use of a highly dangerous and harmful directed energy device or some type of electronic assault device that aims some type of electronic output towards people, places, and things that you aim that device at, and it happens when I'm standing at that sink. It stops if I go down the hall or walk around the floor. Um, this is extremely illegal and harmful, and it occurred so frequently over the course of yesterday evening and this past night that I was actually physically ill this morning and had to cancel a, uh, a pest control visit from the pest control uh, exterminators because Irizarry, the psycho scum, spent the afternoon and evening yesterday deliberately sm smacking things against this wall filling this entire corner and area with sickening amounts of cigar and marijuana smoke and resuming her use of a very harmful and debilitating electronic assault device that she was literally using at full force whenever I was standing at that sink or most frequently when I was over by that wall moving boxes around that apparently she had a problem with me moving probably because she is using some type of surveillance devices on certain sides of those boxes that I then ruined by moving them around. And again, over the last couple of hours, a psycho thug directly below 76 keeps doxing his mental health issues, violence, and the fact that he never leaves his unit by slamming and banging things against the floor below my bed uh, when I do certain things on this bed, but not others. One of those things is simply scratching my eczema or picking my nose or doing random things like that that he has knowledge of, and then he becomes violent directly below my bed. As I keep reporting, he's also been doing some weird drilling noises directly underneath my bed against the floor of my bed, which is his ceiling, late at night. This is not maintenance because maintenance does not work past 5 or 5.30 p.m. So when your neighbor directly below you is making drilling noises repeatedly under your bed and then you suddenly have swarms of little flying insects around your headboard because that's where the drilling noises come from, and it's not crazy to conclude that maybe your, your, your neighbor, who is apparently getting sponsored or paid to engage in violent, aggressive behavior so that you'll move out, is funneling little insects up through the floor into your unit. These are career criminals. I mean, nothing is past them if they're getting paid to engage in criminal activity. So right now, I'm unable to use the water from my kitchen tap because it has once again become extremely thick, oily, and greasy. I'm literally getting blasted right now by an intense amount of uh, smoke, marijuana that's coming from right behind that wall. It's not coming from the hallway. I actually have the door of the hallway open. And Irizarry, the paid psycho scum psychopath, is once again physically assaulting me with her electronic assault device that feels literally like you're being squeezed and burned at the same time. It's a full body sensation that can only be compared to being electrocuted. And it's happening right now. I should not have to keep calling management multiple times per day for the same issues from the psycho scum, mentally disturbed career thugs that they are choosing to place in all of the adjacent units to mine. I mean, I guess Kevin in 88 has been pretty quiet lately. There's not really been a lot from number 88. 
but the psycho scum violent thug directly below 76 and Irizarry, the psychopath piece of shit in 78 and the vacant premises of her former bathroom have been getting really aggressive concurrently, meaning they're doing it at the same time. So there's two different people doing the same thing against the walls and the floor of my unit at the same time. Well, obviously, that's an activist group, right? So-called activism, which these days is basically just Dial an extension at any time. thuggery. For rentals, press 1. For maintenance, press 2. If you're interested in selling a property, press 3. For the office directory, press 4 or press 0 for the front. So it's 3.45 p.m. They should be answering their phone. They rarely do, though. Oh, what do you know? They don't answer their phone in the middle of the day. They never do. They must leave at like 2 p.m. After the tone, please leave a detailed message with your name and number so we may get back to you when we return. Yeah, hi. Um, it's 3.45 p.m. on Monday, August 19th, 2024. I'm calling for the third time today to report that the uh, two psychotic, mentally disturbed, violent career criminals that you've chosen to place in Unit 78 directly next to my bathroom and behind my kitchen sink and directly below me in Unit 76 have once again, over the last two hours, resumed engaging in concurrent violent behavior, slamming and banging against the walls that the unit directly below shares with my floor, so that would be their ceiling, and Irizarry, the psycho scum, paid and sponsored career criminal psychopath in the bathroom of 78 has been smacking the wall directly behind my kitchen sink over the last couple of hours every time I go up to that sink and stand at that sink to try to use it. The water from that sink has once again become extremely thick, oily, greasy, and slimy and cannot be used for any kind of washing or food preparation or drinking or even toothbrushing because it is so thick and slimy. It coats everything that it comes into contact with with sickening amounts of grease and oil that make everything dirty and slimy. I've been reporting this to Greenville multiple times over the last six or seven days, and there has been absolutely no response from you. It prevents me from being able to use the water in this unit at all. And I keep having to go down the hall to the common bathroom and use that water, which is also actually slimy and oily, which means that Irizarry, your psycho scum, paid and sponsored psychopath, is contaminating not just the water to my unit, but it is now leaching into the common water supply for the rest of the floor, if not the rest of the building. At the same time, Irizarry, your paid psycho scum, career criminal electronic expert, who has admitted to using directed energy devices on social media, telling me that she's not using it that intensely, has once again resumed her use of a directed energy device on me while I've been in the process of trying to clear out boxes in this unit over the last 24 hours. She seems to have a severe reaction, some kind of psychotic agitation to the fact that I'm moving boxes around, moving furniture, and removing items in preparation for the pest control inspection that was supposed to take place this morning, but I had to cancel because of Irizarry's nonstop disruptive aggression over the course of the evening yesterday that prevented me from being able to rest and to sleep and also the slamming and banging also this past night from the psycho thug directly below in 76. Irizarry in 78 and the psycho scum violent thug in 76 appear to be working together and frequently make repeated slamming and banging noises directly against the wall behind my kitchen sink and against the floor beneath my bed at the same time, meaning they're acting in conjunction with each other in a coordinated and targeted effort to assault and harass me so that presumably I will not want to live here anymore. You can inform them that they're just wasting their time and that obviously Greenville is sponsoring them and therefore Greenville is also wasting their time in sponsoring these paid, sponsored, so-called activists that are really just career criminals that never leave their units and target other tenants for aggression and harassment. I'm calling from Unit 89 again in the middle of a business day. You guys are refusing to answer your phones. It is 3.45 p.m. I am recording this voicemail for legal purposes, and I will be following up with a written email. Thank you. It's kind of sad for the Greenville group when their incompetence is so blatant that they refuse to answer their phones at any point during the middle of a busy weekday afternoon and that the psycho scum that they're sponsoring and placing in all of the adjacent units to mine 
except for Kevin next door. I mean, I have to give him credit. He's been pretty quiet throughout the uh, day today and last night as well. He was not the one making slamming and banging noises directly below my bed or making drilling sounds that then seemed to lead to the propagation of large amounts of flying insects around the headboard that are not anywhere else in my unit or in my bathroom or over by the door in the hallway. They also don't come in from the window because the flying insects only happen when there's noises beneath my bed, um, which suggests that there's some type of activity being engaged in that then leads to the propagation of insects around my headboard. When your landlord admits to using career criminals to engage in certain illegal activities, such as Oleg Lissay of the property manager has done in verbal conversations I've had with him on multiple occasions regarding Jasmine Irizarry, then all bets are off, folks, especially if that uh, property manager who brags about his career criminals that he uses, um, if he has connections to operations in Russia, as I've been informed, and works for a real estate company that owns properties in Russia, verifiably, also as I've been informed by several housing agents and people who work in the housing business here in Boston.